So this is called breakfast stir fry. This is a Heckman family recipe. Uh, you can cook it on the wood stove. You can cook it over a barbecue. It's got kale slaw, peppers, some onion, potatoes, mushrooms. And then you cook up a bunch of eggs. And you get all them good seasonings going on. Yeah, in there what too. kind of what seasonings are they? Okay, well, I What's throw this? in, that's just some uh, pink sea salt. I don't know, my sister digs that stuff, so that's why we have it. What? Oh, it's Himalayan sea salt. My bad, I was, I'm, I'm mistaken. Thanks, Jax. Um, and we got some vegetable. That's compliments of Keegan Ward. He recommended that to me. Also, a little bit of black pepper. Grease that pan up with your olive oil. And you got your Montreal steak spice. Yep. Female bacon. Yeah, we're gonna uh, we're actually gonna kind of poach that bacon over the vegetables. Once the vegetables get heated up, you'll see it's gonna be mint. chopped up and you're gonna throw your Montreal steak spice on get a bunch of that so what 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 have you all chopped up and put in there well you got to do the things that cook the slowest first so potatoes at the bottom and then onions and peppers on top of that you season it all up so you just got the potatoes onions and peppers in there yeah you know? there's mushrooms and kale over there and it's gonna be a good time okay and what did you you what have you put on those all the spices you're putting on now yep okay and then you can add more later if you want so and then how long are you gonna cook these for before you Probably about a half hour. Half hour? Yep. Okay. Get that wood stove getting stoked all day. Like, you gotta get that thing ripping. That's what that's all about. Oh, yeah. Get a fresh log on there right now. Kind of like midway through, we got probably about another 10 minutes on, but I've been stirring it frequently. And then in 10 minutes, I'm gonna add the mushrooms and the uh, kale slaw and some. Uh, I'm gonna throw the pea meal on top of it. We're gonna get that cooking too. You got your kale and your mushrooms all cooked up. Mix it all together. Make a big, big batch of breakfast stir fry here, and then, then cook it right on top of everything else. You just lay it on like a blanket. Yep. My sister said this is basically like poaching it, and I would agree with that. Poaching. You don't cut it up at all. Nope. It'll cook in like probably five to seven minutes. That's perfect. While we're waiting for that pea meal to cook up on the wood stove there, we're going to get the steak marinating for tomorrow night's supper. Okay, what's that? It's sriracha. That's going to make it good and spicy right off the bat. And, uh, yeah, basically from there, just go nuts with everything. we got some uh, honey Dijon French's. We're going to get some of that on there, too. A couple little dollops of that. Some Worcestershire. It's always good for flavor. Drops. You got your sweet baby rays. What is it? Sweet baby rays, man. Hickory and brown sugar. You know what, bro? Those are the best for this cat. Just douses it on. Oh yeah. What's that? Brown sugar. Yeah. Got brown sugar on the steak, dude. Jalapenous. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Get that in the fridge, and the female's probably ready at this point. Getting better? What do you think of that, Chuck? You got all the cheese on there? Oh, yeah, there's some female there. That's all good and cooked. We're going to throw that in the oven just to let that sit. I'm about to cook up. Well, how many eggs you guys want? You don't want it? You want eggs? Yeah. Oh. It's not very food network worthy, is it? I don't know. We're not on the food network, though, so we don't really care, do we? <laughs> Breakfast stir fry with pea meal and eggs, man. The best way to do it over the wood stove. Oh, yeah. Just like that. Breakfast at 10.22 at night on a Saturday. Alright. Let's <laughs> eat. Cheers, boys.